is Jim Gray. Mayo's bid for their first three in a row in Connacht since 1951 took off at a blistering pace, with Leigh McHale rattling in their first goal after just 10 minutes, taking advantage of a superb free by Kevin O'Neill. The Mayo attack simply had too much pace for the Sligo defence. Here, Roland Golding outpaces the back line, turns inside and picks off a superb point. There was ample skill throughout the Mayo attack. Here, McDonald shows a beautiful touch. Again, great composure and picking off another superb point. Mayo were now in full flow, and in this move, Kevin Staunton, McHale, Pat Follin, all involved in an intricate build-up, and Kevin Lyon knocks over yet another point. Sligo had hardly mustered an attack at this stage, and things went from bad to worse for them as Mayo struck for a second goal in the 23rd minute, a move which started with their own keeper, went the entire length of the field, and at the end of it, McHale, using his height to great advantage, setting up O'Neill, he rounds the keeper and a great finish. Sligo couldn't get into the game at all at this stage and Mayo were picking off points almost at will. In this case, Peter Butler comes up from defence to add his scoring touch and another point for Mayo. Sligo's only score from play in the first half arrived just seconds from the interval when Martin McGrath scored from long distance and he plays his club football in Mayo. Sligo were given a glimmer of hope right at the start of the second half. Feeney's long free touched on by Breheny and McGrath showing great opportunism to nip in ahead of the defence and to give Sligo new hope. But it was short-lived respite for Sligo. Mayo continued to build attack after attack. McMenamin and McHale involved in this move. Sligo unable to close them down and eventually Golding picking off his point again. Although it was mostly one-way traffic, the Sligo fans got something to cheer about near the end when Feeney's free set in substitute Tommy Dignan and he picked off perhaps Sligo's best score of the match. But fittingly, the last word was with McHale, who had been a thorn in the Sligo side all afternoon. Basketball style, he ripped through the defence, picking off the last point of the match to leave the final score, Mayo 2-18, Sligo 1-5. So that means that Mayo are back into the Connacht final against either Galway or Leitrim, who meet next Sunday. Well, next year on the programme, we're going to switch to hurling. The All Ireland Champion.